So the another thing about the interesting channeling experience, the Enrico in the channeling is saying that as a part of manifestation that we attract experience, not property or ownership. <coughs> meaning that, uh, and I want to share my experience, uh, meaning that uh, you, for example, wish to have a, you know, manifest a nice car, The ownership or the property, or oh, this is my car, I have it, isn't somehow in the universe. Everything is set. Uh, no, this is yours, and this is only yours. There is no uh, like uh, ownerships on the universe. Uh, but the idea is that you attract experience. For example, you want a nice car or something like this, and then in a, in a while you realize that you are driving in a nice car. But this is, for example, your fathers, your friends, your relatives, your, you know, closest friend or somebody, uh, a stranger is just picking you up and driving you. So, for example, what I want to say is that the Enrico said that you attract experience, not ownership or property rights or something like this. Uh, but the video is about, I wanted to <laughs> give my uh, personal experience, I was like, you know, um, maybe some when this all started to happen to me through meditation, uh, I didn't know anything about some kind of law of attraction or something. There was just no information about it, and I got to the point to realize that hey, I discovered that everything happens by your thought, and I was like so amazed. It was like I thought this is my own uh, somehow realization, and I was like so convinced and so enlightened about this. And I started to manifest everything and just like I knew how to do it and I started to manifest everything you know uh, some even magical things you know but there are millions of samples of examples of that but I got to the point that yeah you can have everything which you wish but what is that what you truly wish and then I just stopped doing it I said like the higher mind the universe whatever the God or somebody above you know I, I know you know what is absolutely best for me to give me my best uh, and tasteful and exciting experiences that I can possibly have I know the universe knows it so I trust the universe to take me there so I stopped like putting uh, my intention to what I want and then just uh, like a month ago or something I decided yeah maybe I just want to have some more money you know uh, paper money it's just like, ah, it's like, ah, you've been doing this, I've been doing that, but ah, maybe we should try this manifestation stuff to get more money, you know, something like this. And, uh, wait, red light. And uh, <laughs> just lately I realized that uh, uh, I have a, in my house I have a place where I keep, oh, well, my money. I don't keep it in bank account. I keep it in a, in a, in my place. And yeah, no, no, just a, I don't know how to say the name of it. A, a jar or something. And the funniest thing is that one of my friend, he's like, "Hey, can you keep uh, keep? He's going away for a long, long journey." Can you keep my money stored with you? You know, I, I don't want to keep it in bank account. Can you keep this money? I was like, okay. And he gives, well, I would say, pretty much uh, a lot of money for, for something like this. And I said, now in the jar there is uh, lots of more money. And then another friend uh, gives, gives also money. Hey, can I keep this with you? I don't want to take it with me. And, uh, like there's uh, even more money there. Uh, and like the jar is completely full, I need three more jars. But it's not like millions or hundreds of thousands, it's like, uh, from my expression, many times more than I had before. And the, the funniest thing is, I own a, I own a, I own a company which, where I keep money also in the bank. Account. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, uh, the money has to be taken away from the bank account. By accident, it's out of sight of the bank account and in another jar there. So when I open this, uh, I don't know, closet, for example, and there's many jars and everybody's full of money, 
and uh, but it's uh, like I had this experience. Yeah, I wanted more money. Here it is. Here you go. But it's like man, the, uh, just today I remember that's what the Rico was telling like two years ago, but I didn't pay too much attention to it or pay some attention, or it seemed to be really interesting point of view. But the thing is that the universe doesn't have the idea of ownership. And what they were telling is that if you want to manifest something, if you want to have something, you just need to wish for it. Therefore, giving the free will and allowance for it to come to you, the universe will give it to you until and when you give the free will. Yeah, this is something what I want. And the next is that the mind is looking for the ownership. You do not have to have the ownership. You're looking for the experience. So, you, for example, you wanted a lot of money. Here it is, uh, more money. You just you wanted it. And now in my case, oh no, I realize this is the point where I got to. Do you have? Do you want more, or is it enough? I was like, okay, I understood. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, and then you, you're like, okay. So then the you reached your uh, point of uh, result or goal. Uh, but the idea is that now, what, now what you want? And like, do you have any? Do you want anything more? But then normally the mind will be said, yeah, this is not mine. Uh, this is not something I wanted. Uh, I wanted to be mine. So the mind is, mind is looking for the ownership, like property rights or something. Uh, but the idea is that you have it with you. You are driving that car, you are having that money. Uh, that's what you wished for. Uh, but if you want to wish it in a different way, then you have to put out this uh, wish, put out this, that you want to experience it, it by having it. And that's when the Enrico started to tell, to tell stories like, for example, you want a house and you're looking, oh, beautiful house and something. You want to experience by looking at the beautiful house. But if you want to have that house, he said, a suggestion, experience it, it as you're living inside that house, seeing how it is, wishing how it is, uh, making food, making, you know, going to bed, sleeping there. And stuff like this like you experience it as you having it and what will you do when you are in it it's like oh, I want to be a big house and that's it but what floor do you want what tables do you want what uh, you know experience and flow in that experiential feeling flow in that as you are doing the stuff that you will do uh, when you have this for example house car money whatever for so for example having a lot of money in my case is pointless uh, but to like spend it or to have the experience of using this money for example buying something uh, this is something that you are looking for so many times uh, you just need to know what kind of experience you actually want it's not about the money numbers it's about the experience it's about the experience and it's not about the ownership it's about the experience it's about the experience of the building another bridge